You Dropbox or Google Drive? Where are you saving your personal and business documents, photos, and files, and are they secure? Hi, if you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. I'm Julie Merrill, also known as the Paddleboarding CPA, and I help business owners start, grow, and scale their business while saving time and money. Today I'm talking about Google Drive versus Dropbox, the two leading cloud-based service providers out there. And I'm giving you my personal insight on to why I like both of them and what I don't like about both of them. So if you're watching and want to hear more, keep watching. At any time during this video, you can pause it, go in to uh, expand the video description below and find all the details, all the links that I mentioned, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified next time I go live. Without further ado, let's jump in to the difference, pros and cons between Dropbox and Google Drive. So they're both secure. So both of these are cloud-based systems that are, are secure. However, Dropbox trumps the two on security. And some of the reasons that we talk about for the pros and cons that we go into um, in the few minutes, we'll talk more about this, but it is definitely secure. And it is so secure that it's harder to share. So when you have your files on there, let me just move this a little bit down, okay? Someone has to have a Dropbox account for you to share it with, and they have to have space in their Dropbox account. So unless you're in like an enterprise system, if you're a small um, business owner or um, entrepreneur, if you're collaborating with others, it is not the easiest system. It is there for you to store your files, but you have control over who has access to those files and you can only share it with other Dropbox accounts. So you can't like share a link um, to a file and just send it out via email or direct message like you can in Google Drive, um, which is a downfall of it if you're trying to collaborate on documents, but it is more secure in that you can't do that. Dropbox also has a feature which is amazing if you accidentally delete or someone in your system accidentally deletes a file, there's a backup recovery system so you can recover those files. So amazing feature that's provided when you are using Dropbox um, and not something that is inherently available in Google Drive unless you're paid at like a higher level. Okay, I find that um, accidentally moving fo folders in Dropbox doesn't happen for me because if I simply make a mistake when I'm in the folder system by, you know, on my mouse accidentally trying to, it prompts me. There's so many prompts and, you know, are you sure you want to do this where I don't accidentally do that. That's actually a con I'm going to talk about in a minute with Google Drive because I find myself accidentally dragging folders into other folders by mistake. So uh, again, with Dropbox, a con is it is difficult to share. So you have to have someone else have a Dropbox account and they have to have space. So if, even if they sign up for a free Dropbox account, you only get two gigabytes of space and that fills up really fast. Like think about sharing a video file that isn't compressed. You're gonna run out of space like on your first file that you try to share. So it is more difficult to share unless other people have paid Dropbox accounts. Um, another big thing about Dropbox is you can't simultaneously edit files with another user editing at the same time. It saves both versions and you have conflicted versions. And so now you go from having one file to two conflicted versions where two people have made changes at the same time and they're not synced with each other. So that is definitely a downfall on Dropbox. So let's talk about Google Drive. So the pro on Google Drive, it is a collaborative tool and it is so easy to share that um, you can share any file with anyone. That said, it makes it a little less secure. So you can share a file, any of your files in your Google Drive by simply emailing it or creating a link that you can send out in Messenger, in email, or send to someone that they can also then send to someone. And so you really quickly see how that loses the security. But the, the benefit of having multiple people be able to basically click on the link and edit it, it's really powerful for sharing documents and editing them as a team. 
Um, now, and, and most people have Gmail, so you don't have, run into the problem with you know people don't having not having paid or space in their Dropbox accounts trying to share documents. So it's definitely much more collaborative and easier to share. And because you can share it, one of the biggest benefits of Google Drive is you can both you can have multiple people multiple users inside the same document, the same Google Sheet, making edits simultaneously. And it doesn't share conflicted copies. It makes all the changes to the one copy in the shared drive. So powerful, again, if you're sharing and multiple people need to go in and see and edit and change things in files, it is a powerful, again, collaborative tool. Um, Google Drive also provides more pricing tiers, which I will put a link to all the current pricing um, and all the detail in the video description below, but there are more tiers within Google Drive. So it gives you a little bit more of a choice. Another con with Google or a con with Google Drive is I find myself doing this all the time and it drives me crazy. And then I'm just into Google Drive and I accidentally too easily drag and drop a folder into another folder and I can't find it. I don't like that it doesn't prompt you like Dropbox does to make sure that are you sure you wanted to move that folder somewhere? Um, I find myself trying to find it. So that is something Google Drive you guys need to improve on because it is way too easy to drag and drop a folder and it, you can't find it. Okay, another con with Google Drive is the data recovery. Remember that was a pro with Dropbox in that if you accidentally delete something, you can have that file recovered. That feature is not available until you get to the um, enterprise plan with Google Drive, which is at the 25 a month price point, which most small business owners aren't there. So in the basic or business plan, data recovery, if you accidentally delete something, it is gone. So I do want to talk a few minutes on, uh, or not a few minutes, uh, just quickly on pricing. And what I do recommend if you are a business owner, and I have a video that you can watch exactly on how to um, install a G Suite for your business. So if you're using Gmail for your business, I recommend you use G Suite. You get all the features of the Gmail, but with your business email being at yourcompanyname.com. And I have this video that shows you exactly how to do that. So if you get G Suite, so the business version of Google Drive comes with it, you get in the basic plan, you get 30, 30 gigabytes of space. If you go to the business plan, you get a terabyte of space with your G Suite plan. Now, if you're just using Gmail, and again, these are current specs and pricing, um, you get a free Gmail account gets 15 gigabytes of space, whereas a free Dropbox account only gets two. So there's definitely that. Um, 100 gigabytes, $2, 200 gigabytes, $3 a month. Um, these are monthly costs. And then two terabytes is $10 a month. This is the free Gmail. Whereas Dropbox current pricing, you get, again, the two gigabytes is free if with the free account. And if you want a terabyte of space, it's monthly. Right now it's $8.25 a month. And if you get two terabytes of space on Dropbox, it is $16.58 a month. Those are current pricing. So those can change. Speaking of pricing changes, so G Suite is increasing its pricing April 2nd, 2019. So where the basic plan used to be $5 a month, it's going up to $6 a month. So it's not a huge increase, um, but a little bit. And then the business plan is going up from $10 a month to $12 a month. So if you're watching this video before April 2nd, you can actually upgrade to the annual plan, lock in that lower price paint and pay for the year and not see that price increase until you renew next year. So that is an option. Now I get asked questions all the time about what software services I provide. And so I've created a page where I have all the different products that I can't live without. You can find that at the paddleboardingcpa.com forward slash tools. I have links to both um, for my cloud based uh, service section. I have links to both Google Drive and Dropbox on that page, as long as all the other software tools and apps that I can't live without with little write ups and recommendations based on my personal experience or that of my business community. So definitely want to help you out. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, give me a subscribe and like, and let me know in the comments below if you are using, again, Google Drive, Dropbox, or if you're using like something else or your local computer to store your files. And if this video has helped you think about maybe adding another service or switching or, um, you know, kind of enlightened you on the different top two cloud-based uh, providers for, cloud 
storage. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. This is Julie Merrill, also known as the paddleboarding CPA. Again, subscribe to my channel so you get notified the next time a video comes out or I go live here on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can comment below or you can send me a message on any of the big social media platforms at paddleboarding CPA. All right. Have a great day and ciao for now.